Hello there, welcome to our walkthrough video for version 1 of our MIDI mix remote script. We've taken the base MIDI mix script that comes with Ableton Live and added some extra features in line with the other remote scripts that we do for the Launch Control XL and the BCR2000 etc. After installing the script, the easiest way to check everything is up and running correctly is by the presence of the red rectangle. This shows you which tracks you're controlling and is something that we've added as the standard script doesn't have this. This is a useful indicator to find out what you're controlling in the set. Moving across to the device itself, you can see straight away that there's a couple of changes. First of all, the bank left and bank right buttons are now illuminated when they're available. So you can see whether you can actually go left or right. And we've taken the return tracks and right justified them so that they're separated away from the main tracks if there's enough space available. The return tracks operate in two different modes. The first mode, which I've got configured here, is that the normal tracks will take priority over the return tracks. So if I have eight normal tracks, Then now I'm controlling tracks 1 to 8. And if I move across to the right, then I start to control the sends. And the normal tracks have moved along as expected. I've now just changed into returns mode 2 which is done via the included configuration file. In this mode the return tracks are always going to take priority and are always going to be present on the controller. So I have the same setup here but this time these two are still going to be controlling the return tracks even though I have 8 tracks in the set. So these two will continue to control tracks 5 and 6 and I can move up and down to make the additional tracks available. We've also added an option to remove the pan controls from the third row which may be useful in a performance setting where you don't need to be adjusting the pan and if this configuration option is chosen in the configuration file then the third row here will control additional sends rather than pans. Also on the sends front we've added the ability to bank through the sends so if I have four returns here now. If I hold down the solo button for a long press then the two buttons here become send bank buttons rather than track bank buttons. So when illuminated I can move through my sends so if I move to the next bank then here I'm now controlling send D. These two aren't doing anything so I only have four sends and I can move back up to control the original sends. That covers the changes for the mixer and now we'll move on to device control. Device control is engaged by a quick press of the solo button to toggle it into device mode rather than the long press used to activate the solo mode for these buttons once in device mode, the mute buttons become device selection buttons and the rec arm buttons become either device enable, disable or track select buttons. By default, they will be track select and via a configuration option you can change the default to be enable, disable if you wish. Whilst in device mode, a long press of the solo button will toggle the operation of these buttons. 
So I can select my tracks, including the return tracks. And if I start adding devices here now, you can see that the selected device is changing. Then go and select the device that I wish. And once the device is selected, then I will be controlling up to 24 parameters in one go. If I hold down the solo button for an extended press, then this shows me now that the three devices are enabled and I can go and change the status of these if I wish. If I'd swapped the track selection operation in the config file, then I would be enabling disabling devices by default and upon the long press of solo, that would enter me into track select mode and I'd then be able to select the track that I was on. If the device or instrument contains more than 24 parameters, then these two buttons here will allow you to bank through the parameters. Okay, so I've reached my 24. I can see that this is enabled, so I can press this to bank through to the next set of parameters. currently working on some custom mapping software that will allow you to change the assignments of the buttons which should be available in the near future and as with all of our scripts they're all launch synced ready so that you can either slave the midi mix to another controller such as launchpad or push or you can use this as the master and you can use your push or your launchpad as a slave to this controller the version 1 script will be available by the time you watch this video, so if you're interested, you've got a MIDI mix and you want to supercharge it, then head on over to the Isotonic Studios website.